On February 23, 2020, Ahmad Arbery, a 25-year-old black man, was shot to death on a suburban street in Brunswick, Georgia, after being chased down by three white men. Former Glynn County police officer Greg McMichael, his son Travis McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan were interviewed at the scene once Glynn County police arrived, but were not arrested. We see him come around the corner. He's going down here. We pull up beside him. Hey, stop, stop. We want to talk to you. He ran down here, and I stopped about what fire truck he is. More than two months after Arbery was killed, video of the fatal confrontation was leaked. Georgia police arrested the McMichaels and Bryan amid the outcry that followed. Justice for Allah! And the three have since been charged with murder. Today, the Glenn County Grand Jury did return an indictment against Travis McMichael, Greg McMichael, and William Bryan. Jackie Johnson, the county prosecutor at the time of Arbery's death, recused herself from the case. You know, former district attorney for the Brunswick Judicial Circuit for 10 years booked into jail this morning. She was later indicted by a grand jury on allegations that she told police not to arrest Travis McMichael. The violation of oath of a public officer is a felony charge that carries a sentence of one to five years. His father had recently retired from her office. Before she was voted out of office in November 2020, her successor, George Barnhill, also had to recuse himself from the case after revealing that his son worked in the district attorney's office with Greg McMichael. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation then took over the case, charging the McMichaels with murder and aggravated assault on May 7, 2020. Mr. Bryan said that after the shooting took place, before police arrival, while Mr. Aubrey was on the ground, that he heard Travis Michael make the statement, F Bryan was also charged with murder and attempting to cause false imprisonment. Robert Rubin, Jason Sheffield, and Franklin Hogue are representing the McMichaels. They say that the father and son suspected Arbery had broken into a home under construction and that Travis McMichael had acted in self-defense when he shot Arbery. Kevin Goff, who represents William Bryan, has argued that Bryan was merely a witness to the shooting. His family says the 25-year-old was in the neighborhood February 23rd jogging. This newly revealed surveillance video shows he stepped into a home under construction, looks around, then leaves and begins to run. Arbery's family say that nothing was stolen from the construction site and that he was simply out jogging and feared for his life when the defendants began chasing him. The judge, Timothy Walmsley, has already rejected defense requests to introduce evidence on Arbery's criminal history and mental health. The defense has also asked the images of Travis McMichael's license plate which features the old Georgia flag that included a Confederate battle emblem be barred from the trial. 1,000 people were called as potential jurors for the trial, reflecting how difficult it would be to seat jurors in such a high-profile case in Glynn County. Jury selection took more than two weeks. Though the population of Glynn County is about 27% black, of the final 12 jurors, only one is black, and the remaining 11 are white. All three defendants have also pleaded not guilty to federal hate crime charges. That trial is set for February 2022.